Learning how to create a battering. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to model a battering. We're gonna go ahead and get started once again. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit tab to go back into edit mode. And uh, hopefully, you checked out the first part. If you didn't check out the first part, definitely do that. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, that's on my channel, by the way. It's on my channel. Go ahead and check my channel for the video. We'll go ahead and go back to uh, edge select mode and continue our edges here with the, what we were doing. Uh, we'll hit E to extrude, and I'm just gonna kind of extrude this in a general direction of the um, of the, the the vertices that we're gonna need here. So we'll do a couple. We'll just stop. Um, I'm gonna go back to vertices select mode, and we're just gonna kind of form fit these around the battering here. Uh, that one up in the corner there. This one up here, and I want to make sure we have all of these vertices all nice and good. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just pull this one over here, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and see if we can get this as straight as is possible. Um, doing something like this now you can see I want to go ahead and uh, also pull this down here so we'll hit and pull, we'll go ahead and pull that down there and this one down here all the way around and we can hit Z to go back into wireframe mode like we did before wireframe there we go and we'll go ahead and just zoom in there to see this a little bit easier hit G to move as always and uh, we'll just pull those down something like that there we go I hope you guys this day is going bat-tastic I gotta say that man's, uh, he's looking good today. He's looking good. He's getting a new Batarang and everything. It's amazing. Amazing day for Batman. All right, so we'll go back to Solid Viewport Shading so I can see what I'm doing really quick. Um, and we'll open this up by hitting Tab again so we can go back to our vertices. I'm going to go ahead and um, actually do a couple things here. I'm going to pull this one back. I do want this to be straight, but we'll fix that in a second here. So we'll pull these a little bit back a little bit again. Just want to get that as straight as possible. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay, so now we have this uh, nice little edge here. I kind of want to maybe just pull this back even a little bit more just to get that little curve on there right there. So now we're looking good. I want to go ahead and um, and pull this off to the side here now so we can go ahead and actually uh, let's do it like this. Actually, let's go ahead and pull this vertice up and we will actually move a couple of these up. So we'll pull until we'll grab this one right here. So let's just move all these up out of the way for now. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to extrude that a couple more times, but that's fine. We'll just grab that corner and we'll kind of make a little triangle here with this list little area right here, so we can just extend that by itself. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these over. Hit G to move, of course, like always, and we'll just move that over like that. Grab that edge, and we'll have to extrude some more, but that's totally fine. Um, all right, there we go. And now we'll grab this edge. This we'll go back to edge select mode again. Grab that, and we'll just we'll follow the bottom this time because I have to do the, the top separately. But I make that straight anyway. We'll follow the bottom, um, kind of just curve it around like that, and something like that. We are good to go. All right, sweet. So with these uh, edges here, I can actually get, I can delete this piece right here. We don't need that one. Uh, delete vertices. We can get rid of that piece because we don't need it. We'll just move all these down. Uh, try and form fit the top. Don't worry too much about getting it straight right now. We'll straighten it up later. Um, because we don't have time to worry about that right now. All right, we'll grab uh, this corner. We'll grab this piece right here and then hit uh, E to extrude. We'll just pull that maybe about there and then we'll uh, grab another one over on this side. Hit E to extrude, pull it about half and then uh, select both of those and then these two right here. Hit F to create a face. There we go. Now we got a face for that uh, little section right there and I'm going to grab this piece, kind of pull it back a little bit. This piece, move it up forward a little bit. Uh, select both of these. Actually, no, I'm not, not, not select both. We're going to select one of them. Hit E to extrude. Same thing we just did. And then select all three of those. F to create a face. Now, we have a nice little edge there, which is a nice super sweetness. Uh, move that over like that. Alrighty. So, this is looking pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. We're looking uh, pretty good. We're going to go ahead and finish this edge up right here. Hold down shift. Select all of those. Hold down shift. Select one, two, three. F to create a face. Now, uh, we have our entire battering. This is it. That's the whole thing right there. But we got to do a lot of more stuff still. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, tab to go back into edit mode. We're going to grab this top face by hitting B, the top edge, sorry. Uh, select all the vertices up here, make them straighter. Grab all that. Uh, we're going to hit S, Z, zero. Now we're on zero. You can see we have uh, a complete straight line there, which is nice. But I do want to I want to slant this. So we'll hit uh, R, Y, and we'll just slant it back down, just something like that. Now everything is knock knock good good again, and it is completely straight, which is what we want because Batman's battlerangs are straight, uh, sharp edges. There we go. So looking good, I like it. But we you see we still have a little bit of like chunkiness and so we're gonna fix that a little bit right now by going ahead and uh, hitting Tab to go into edit mode. 
we're going to uh, double tap A here, select everything. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and apply the mirror modifier right now. So we hit apply on that. So now we have all the, the sections. Now if we change something, it's not going to mirror itself over there, which is fine because we got everything done already. I will go ahead and um, actually, you know what I want to do? Um, we need to do something else here. I've kind of... All right, let's undo that mirror modifier real quick. This over here, this is bugging me. This is not, this is not right here. So let's go ahead and actually um, delete all of these faces here. So we'll select all these faces. Go to face select mode. Hold down shift. Select all three of those. Delete faces. Now we can go and fix this. This is a problem here. This is not what I wanted to do. All right. We'll grab this piece right here, this vertice. Hit E to extrude. Extrude about right there. E to extrude again. And one more time. Uh, all right. This is looking better already. So sweet. Uh, we'll move these vertices over so we can get a little. We're gonna have to straighten that again, but it's it's fine. Um, we'll hit. Uh, we'll grab this piece. E to extrude. And we'll do the same thing we did earlier. So we'll just hold down Shift, select all of those. F to create a face. Um, and we'll do the same thing again. E to extrude down here. F to hold down Shift. F to create a face. And I, I, oh, select that one too. Make sure you select all four of them, or else, or else it will do that. I'm gonna, I, we're going to have to move these over quite a bit, too, because we're going to need some more space for these other vertices here. So kind of want to get some space in here. Just move them over. Something like that. All right. So uh, the last one right here, we're going to do all the way up. Hold down Shift to select all of those. And we're going to do the same thing over here, too. So we're going to need some more vertices as well. Like I said, we're going to need three more. I just want to do three. Um, so there we go. We'll hit, uh, uh, hit E to extrude. Pull it up. Uh, hold on shift select all of these F and then real quick we'll do this last one here and I'm about to move these over hold on shift F and grab all of these F there we go so now you can see we have a bunch of jumbly vertices up here so we'll just move these over a little bit uh, kind of make everything the same width a little bit kind of smooth everything out you know but like I said we'll have to straighten this edge again but that's fine we'll just do that real quick uh, yeah, that edge was bothering me. I don't know what happened there. I that's not how I did it when I practiced this. This that was weird. I uh, I test. I always test things out to make sure uh, I have a, uh, a a smooth the smoothest way to get things done, so we don't just you know spend a bunch of time doing nothing. Um, and uh, that was not how we did. It. There we go. That's looking much better than it did before. We had a, a weird vertice and everything. All right, sweet. There we go. All right, so now we can go ahead and uh, hit B to box select this uh, top edge once again. Uh, S Z zero there we go and then r y to rotate it back sweet all righty i'm gonna grab this vertice pull it out like that a little bit i uh, know we'll leave it never mind we'll leave that right there all right so now we are good to go i will hit that mirror modifier back on and we'll go ahead and uh hit uh double tap a to select everything hit e to extrude backwards um there we go now we have this uh second uh second edge kind of thing going on with it's kind of thick now which is nice uh, we'll go ahead and go to loop cut. We'll loop cut the middle like that. So now there's a line all the way through the middle of it, which is super sweetness. Um, and I want to go ahead and hit E to extrude this. Uh, the, uh, sorry, hit 3 to go into the uh, back, to the side view, not E. What am I saying? We'll go ahead and hit this little button up here next to the wireframe, which is show x-ray. And I'll select only the back faces. Only the back faces need to be grabbed here. So we'll grab, hit B to box select. We'll grab all these, fa all these vertices. Hit delete vertices. Now, we only have this little kind of indented uh, crater thingy here on the back, which is nice, which is what I want. We'll hit 1 to go into the front-facing view. Uh, we don't need this plane anymore. We can get rid of this empty over here. It says the uh, that's the plane in the background. Hit delete on that. We don't need it anymore. All right. We're all good to go. We can do this by ourselves. Uh, but, yeah, so we're going to continue this in the, in the next uh, part, uh, and we're going to go ahead and uh, just shrink this down, get a little bit of edge on there, do all the cleaning up and everything like that. Uh, but, yeah, so that's going to be it for the second Batarang Batman uh, part. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.